Yo, what's going on guys? It is Kojimo here back with another video. Today, we are going to talk about the best video settings you can be using in Counter-Strike 2. I am going to give you the settings that professional players like Simple, Monacy are using, as well as what almost every player in inside the top 500, thousand in the world is using and we're going to get you set up for success so that you can be the best player possible in this new game so before we get into it guys hit that subscribe button i'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers it would mean so much to me if you join me in this journey and i'm going to teach you everything i know about counter-strike 2 and you can come alongside me to the top so let's get right into the settings so we're going to go up here to the settings menu and click on that and you might be on this new tab at first let's go ahead and click on video and we just have a few things to take care of in here. Now, first, let's talk about brightness. Brightness in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, I always had it cranked up all the way. But honestly, with Counter-Strike 2, I don't feel the need to do that as much. So I just leave it at 100, right? But, you know, if you want, you can crank it up if you're feeling like toasting your eyeballs a little bit. But I think 100 is fine. We don't really need to change that. Where we get into some more, uh, you know, details is the aspect ratio. So I would recommend if you're brand new to the game, you play on 1920 by 1080. This is called native, and this is going to be your best, uh, you know, resolution that you can play on. It, it looks the best, it plays the best, but this is where it gets a little tricky because there is personal preference involved. I personally love playing on 4x3, 1280 by 960 I love the way it looks. I play on stretched. It feels amazing. And if you guys want to learn how to play on 4x3 stretched, uh, I, I've made a video up on my channel explaining how to do that. I've also explained how to play on 16x10 resolutions, right? But... I'd recommend playing on either 4x3 or 16x9, right? Uh, like I said, if you're a new player, play on native, play on this resolution. If you're a more experienced player, you've played on stretch resolution before, you like it, then I would recommend playing 1280x960 or 1440x1080 or 1024x768 stretch. I'd recommend one of those. Um, but make sure you guys have your display mode on full screen. Always have this on full screen. No excuse not to. And then make sure your refresh rate is the highest it can possibly be. Always have it on the highest. Uh, it's gonna be the most beneficial for you. So yeah, that's about it for the video settings. Now let's go to advanced video. This is where we get into the details of things and we get to make our game look very nice. So the first thing we have here is boost player contrast. Now I have it enabled, but right now, to be honest with you guys, a lot of pros have this disabled. So if you wanna play like simple, monacy, other people have this disabled, but at the end of the day, I had this enabled in Counter-Strike Global Offensive and I liked how it worked. I think right now, as I'm releasing this video, it's a little broken, so most pros just have it turned off, but it is a good feature usually. Now, wait for vertical sync. Make sure that this is disabled. We do not want this on. Um, go ahead and throw this on custom, but it's it should be on that anyways. We're gonna change all these settings, so um the current video values will be on this um let's go ahead and look at the individual preset values now first one we have here the multi-sampling this is a little bit of preference i'm not gonna lie almost every pro right now has it on eight um 8x msaa that's what they have it on they have it on this setting but personally i've played on four before i played on two and i've even had none it literally just comes down to personal preference with this and it's going to make your game look very pixely if you have it on the lower settings and if you have it on the higher settings it's going to make your game look very unpixelated like very like high resolution high detail so just keep that in mind it, it, it comes down to personal preference for this but if you have a lower end pc probably playing on none is going to give you some more frames and you know give you that better feel so just depends on what your setup is now one thing that you absolutely cannot change please do not change this is global shadow quality so in counter strike 2 now it is very important to be able to see shadows because they give away the position of your opponent right so you need to know where the shadows are where your own shadows are so have this on high or very high almost every pro right now is playing on high so i'd recommend that but whatever you do have this enabled you cannot turn shadows off or you're going to be an absolute noob now model texture detail, let's go ahead and throw this on low. It's going to give you some more frames and make your game run a lot smoother. Um, you know, that's just the most optimal way to play. Same thing with texture filtering. Most pros are playing on bilinear right now. You don't need to throw it on any of these higher options. Bilinear is going to get the job done. It's going to be treating you right and you're going to be playing like an absolute pro. So keep that, keep that on bilinear. Now shader detail, like don't get this confused with the shadows shader detail does not matter at all as much literally like almost every pro i know has shader detail on low because it, it doesn't matter right like it literally doesn't matter because if we throw this on high 
it's gonna degrade our graphic performance uh hardcore so there's no reason to necessarily have shader detail on high and shout out to jt i saw him over here sorry i just got distracted but shout out to jt man's killing it all right particle detail throw this on low we don't need this on uh anything else either same thing with shader detail both of these go hand in hand we don't need them at all anything past low it's not going to give us any sort of advantage that's worthwhile instead we're going to optimize our amount of frames and make sure our pc is running as smoothly as possible so ambient occlusion make sure that we have this either you know it just depends you can either have this on medium or you can have this disabled and it just literally depends pro by pro what they choose like right now simple is playing on medium but then mona is playing on disabled so you know is one better than the other i guess we'll have to find out through time but right now this setting is not very important to be honest with you and it doesn't matter we can just have either one and we're going to be chilling just fine so you know, it's it's not going to be too much of an issue so for high dynamic range this we're gonna flip on the, the default setting which is quality i know it makes sense to have performance but trust me you're gonna want to keep it on quality for the uh just for the image and you know how things are going to be looking and running in your game so it's it's you know it's tempting to put that on performance but trust me just keep it on quality and you'll be chilling now the fidelity fx super resolution we want to make sure that this is uh going to be disabled right we we don't want this on because it's going to be very bad i like it, it, the game looks awful if you don't have this uh on either ultra quality or disabled right it looks awful because at first i was t testing around with it on performance and it literally makes your game look awful like i don't know if you can see in, up here right now it's not that noticeable maybe but when you're in game it looks so bad like it looks like you're playing roblox when you're moving around and shooting so as tempting as that is as well, we're gonna keep that on the highest quality, even though it might make it so that we have less frames. I know it's sad, but it's just what we need to do in order to make sure that we can actually see the players when they're swinging and we can see the details and the information. Cause like, you know, Counter-Strike 2 just is very intense on your PC and it sucks cause Counter-Strike Global Offensive was, you know, a game that you could run on a potato, right? You could literally run on a potato and you'd be chilling. So it does suck that Counter-Strike 2 is more intense on the frames and, makes it so you have to kind of have a beefier pc to play because i know it, it's it's sad at the end of the day but also guys uh we're gonna make sure that nvidia reflex low latency is disabled there is very few pros i i do see a little bit of mix on this where they have it enabled but to be honest with you i've been finding a lot of success playing with it disabled and you know i think it it works perfectly fine without it being on so at the end of the day it, again it just comes down to preference and you can mess around with this one a bit but just, just keep it on disabled and you'll be fine you know it's it's going to be what pros are generally playing on so you'll be set but yeah guys at the end of the day that's all that matters with these settings is personal preference and finding what works for you this is right here is going to be your key to succeeding though these settings are going to be what you need to be using in order to thrive in the scene and play better see your enemies faster make sure that you, that you see their shadows and everything's going good so i wish you guys luck in your games keep grinding let's make it to the top together and i'll catch you guys later in my next video peace out